Detroit Mercy men's basketball is picked to finish fifth in the Horizon League this coming season. They start a new year with a fresh face, someone who is redefining tradition within the Titans program. And Seven Action Sports reporter Gina Trotman has tonight's story. Kevin McAdoo, he's wearing practice jersey number 24. He's a transfer graduate student, so he's new to the roster this year. However, the name Kevin McAdoo, not new to Detroit Mercy basketball. When I weighed out all my options, it was like, you know, I, my dad put a lot of time in here, put a lot of sweat, tears, and joy in here. So, you know, uh, it was really just a cherry on top. His father, also Kevin McAdoo, was a Titan from 1982 to 1986. There's a lot of tradition here and I'm happy to be a part of that tradition. And, you know, right now I hope to even see things go to a different level now that my son is here. Kevin is more than just a part Pretty of cool. Detroit Mercy's it's tradition. Cool. He's I mean, a part of Detroit to, uh, Mercy's record books. You know, it's, it's something to say that you played a long time and you had a pretty decent career. Kevin is the university's all-time assist leader with 615. So Kevin only has two years left of eligibility, so it's safe to say that his dad's record here at Detroit Mercy is safe. Well, that's if you ask dad. Way too much for him to catch. <laughs> Way too far ahead. <laughs> While they do both admit that the record is out of reach, don't get it wrong. These two are very competitive. I used to play him growing up. He used to beat me, you know, until, you know, obviously you get to that age where you can finally beat your father. So we, we had that story, you know, growing you, you up. You at that age? Me. You can see you can beat me now? No, I can't. <laughs> All right, then. Kevin said there's no pressure or expectations in living up to his dad's legacy as a Titan. My dad, he's, he's taught me everything I know. I mean, he's taught me how to be a good person in this life, the right way to move in this world. He's taught me all the intangibles that you need in this life to survive. And as for dad. I've never talked a lot about my basketball with my kids or our family. He likes the view from the sideline this time around. They're making their own history, so I'm enjoying basking in their history or developing their history versus trying to remember mine. Reporting in Detroit, Gina Trotman, 7 Action Sports. Well, as you can hear in that special moment we just witnessed, Kevin crediting much of his basketball career to his father. He said he's the one who put the basketball in his hands when he was a child. Kevin and the Titans open the season November 10th at Wyoming.